Here's K2EFG. Uh, I'm going to now show how to use um, solar panels to, in different configurations to charge the A123 batteries. I will start with um, a good old, big old solar screen. It actually folds uh, this way, as you can see. And I just want to show some parts that go along. Ultimately, our, uh, our objective is to get power from this uh, panel here to this battery here. This is a small A123 battery that I use. There's some parts that I'm going to need. Uh, I can have uh, a controller. Uh, this is one controller. This is a marine controller. Uh, it's basically a diode that gets um, uh, that prevents power going back from the battery to the charger. The only uh, um, caveat that I would say about these uh, controllers is you don't want to leave the charger the, the battery connected to the uh, solar panel overnight because then uh, current may flow back from the battery to the uh, panel. And here is the body pole controller. Uh, you can see the body pole controller is a little smaller, uh, has the same effect and also a little less um, cumbersome in terms of connection because it already has the uh, power poles here, the mini power poles connected. So I'm going to put this together and show you how it works. Uh, Okay, and here we are. Uh, the solar panel is here. This is, by the way, a top ray solar panel. It produces 12 volts and it is unregulated power, so it depends on the amount of sun it gets exposed to. Uh, and it's connected here through one of the few connections that it has. It also has these uh, clips available and some other connections. And I uh, very straightforwardly took this battery, uh, put, it, put the body pole um, controller in between, and connected it to the battery. Uh, usually we'll put the battery in the shade, of course it's on the shade now for demonstration purposes, and this will be the entire setup. So as you can see, this is a top tray solar panel that uh, produces about uh, as much as 20 volts uh, and gets regulated through the controller. Um, I can also use the marine controller uh, that will carry even uh, more, uh, we'll, we'll be able to tolerate even more um, uh, current but, uh, as I said, it's important to remember at the end of the day when the battery is charged to um, con disconnect everything. Uh, of course, uh, this is an unbalanced charging. It's directly to the feeds of the uh, battery, so I will need to uh, find time in the next charge to charge this um, um, battery. Uh, having said that, uh, I will show you next uh, how to use um, some other uh, solar panels and how they operate. Uh, okay, so this is a top tray charger set up with a body pole controller and A123 battery. All right, here's the next setup. This is an X-Power uh, power pack solar. Uh, it is chargeable by uh, uh, a small, um, a small uh, uh, solar panel. It can also get charged through a power cord. It could get connected here. Uh, you can see that it has uh, 12 volt, it has a uh, 220, two of them, it actually can also connect to a USB uh, port. So uh, this is the X-Power uh, by Xantax and uh, you can see details about it in my uh, uh, website at qrz.com. Just look for K2EFG and you'll be able to see the exact specs. Um, this is connected now through the uh, 24, uh, through the 12 volt connector. Hey, remember this baby here? This is uh, the Cellpro 10S uh, uh, by um, um, Revlectrix. Uh, it will. It is now connected in a balancing uh, mode, uh, slower trickle charge. And here we go. We can uh, we can turn this on here, and our Cellpro 10S is ready to go. And let's see. It's just like we showed before. I can just start charging it. It will charge. What this setup is now uh, looking like is a basically a giant battery uh, connected to a solar panel and the giant battery is uh, really useful because it can provide very uh, stable power source to the Cellpro 10S and I can uh, charge and balance the uh, A123 battery with it. Um, however, this is a little heavy and it requires uh, some maintenance. Uh, it can stay connected to a power charge as much as six months at a time. I, I sometimes drain it just for good measure, but it's basically a giant battery that also includes an inverter and uh, uh, for 220 or for 110 connection, I'm sorry, as well as the good old 12 volt connection. 
over here that is enabling me to um, connect it to the cell pro and charge my a123 battery uh, you can see that if I uh, look in here I can um, I can uh, look at the mode and I get uh, uh, let me see uh, I get about uh, 4 amps out of this very nice uh, it's a supply to 11.7 volt at uh, 4 amps so it's pretty good uh, and uh, it's uh, not a great um, not a great connection for not a great setup for uh, 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 for a portable but it is good for something like field day uh, which is what I will use this coming field day so now we'll see what else we can do uh, with different kinds of solar panels Okay, next is uh, the turn of a power film. This particular model is F15-300N. It produces up to 16 volt in full sunlight. I want, I want to make sure that you see, see that um, one of the uh, tab the, of the power film is actually folded. I, this is on purpose in order to reduce the power from uh, 16 volt to about 13 volts. And uh, what we have here is connection Without, a, without any, um, uh, any uh, 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 controller directly to the uh, cell pro. I'm going to just put this together and turn on the cell pro uh, this way. And here we go, the cell pro is connected and you can see that it's giving me some errors. Uh, in this case the error is that uh, the power volt is too high or too low. I got to adjust this based on various condition um, and here it is now it's actually okay it is extremely sensitive to um, to uh, uh, shade and can only work so much right now it's drawing about five amps out of uh, the bat out of the uh, uh, solar panel it is very sensitive but it does work I have charged uh, entire batteries that way using a balanced approach as opposed to the unbalanced approach and it is uh, straightforwardly connected uh, from the film over there uh, to the cell pro 10s to the battery and it's currently charging it at 5 amps so this is a real neat situation again this is a, a, a film a power film notice that the flap just turned up i bet you we're going to get an error in two seconds saying the voltage is too high uh, this is it uh, fully extended so this is another option uh, to use um, and I like this option uh, in field day. This is very easy to carry. Here, let me disconnect it. And uh, here we go, it just gave an error. It folds very neatly uh, into this uh, small little piece. It's flexible, it's durable, it doesn't give you problems in security. Uh, it's easy to carry. And so that's what I do um, when I would like to have a balanced uh, charging for battery. So. Uh, the, uh, the power film uh, F15-300N. Again, details about that in my QRZ website, qrz.com uh, uh, website, under the call sign K2EFG. All right, next will be the last option. You've seen this option already in, um, in uh, uh, Israel when I uh, was uh, doing a 4X-ray Holy Land tour. Uh, but I'll just uh, point it out one more time for those who want to see it just uh, by itself, just uh, charging by itself. So we'll be Okay, right. last but not least, uh, this is the Gold Zero charger, very small charger um, that produces about 12.5 volts uh, steadily. It uh, also fits very nicely in a bag and it's connected through a um, body pole controller here to the A123 battery. This is again an unbalanced charging. Uh, but it will uh, produce a very uh, healthy amount of uh, charge for a short period of time. Uh, I would like to give some statistics. Using this method will take about an hour to fill this little battery and about an hour of operation. So if you have two of them, you can uh, alternate. Uh, the big, uh, the big uh, solar panel, the one we showed first, will take about 15 minutes and the other two will take uh, whatever it will take under normal conditions because they are using uh, the, um, they're using the balanced approach and the Cell Pro 10S will uh, balance, charge and balance as needed. So it can take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes as, as long as 35 to 45 minutes depending on the amount of uh, current you're pushing in and the amperage you're using and drawing. Uh, this is a little sensitive to light but it's generally very helpful and you can see that I have a tool 
of um, charges, uh, different kinds of charges being used uh, for different situations, field day, uh, uh, DX, uh, uh, portable, uh, and as well as just maintaining uh, uh, the batteries on a regular basis using a balanced uh, approach. Uh, with that, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I, uh, uh, I'm going to run into the shade. It's a hot day and uh, I'll talk to you later. If you have any questions, email me. I'm at uh, k2efg at arrl.net. 7-3. Bye-bye.